Uh, macro traders out there really trying to work out uh, what the PBOC is trying to do here in terms of allowing that weakening yesterday and then we've got the stronger fixing today. What do you think the end game is here? So, uh, in, my, in my view, uh, it looks like uh, Chinese policymakers are now uh, expanding the tools that uh, they, they are using in order to f uh, basically face trade te tensions with respect to the US. Uh, this uh, trade war is turning into an FX war, uh, war. And I think that the message from PBOC yesterday was quite clear. So that like line in the sand of seven uh, of the yuan against the dollar has been uh, broken. Uh, and and well, the genie is out of the bottle. That said, though, I think that Chinese policymakers want to be very gradual. Uh, and, and therefore, today, uh, they basically suggested that they will adopt uh, a, a gradual and cautious approach uh, to the use of mm. FX as a tool in this uh, trade war with the US. Mm. Sylvia, good morning to you. It's interesting. Yesterday was one message. Today, it's completely, uh, completely different. So I think it's very, very difficult at this stage to say, for any of us, what happens next? One of the big stories that's building momentum, JP Morgan say this, is that you could see the US intervene to strengthen the yuan. This is perhaps one of the more dangerous repercussions to come from the White House. Namura says there's a 20% probability of that in the next three months. What do you think the possibility of that is? Uh, well, uh, I would say that the, the probability are quite low, uh, but clearly, given the um, unpredictability uh, of policymakers here, and we are talking about both sides in these U.S.-China trade tensions, uh, we clearly cannot cl uh, rule it out. Um, the decision needs to come from the Treasury, uh, and uh, the Fed would need to abide to whatever uh, FX policies um, the Treasury decides. So. Uh, I'd also put like the probability at, um, at around 15% uh, of an effects intervention uh, by the US um, in the next few months. Mm, where would you put the probability, because people are starting to talk about this now as a bit more of a possibility, of China selling down its treasury holdings? Because of course the impact of that could be actually strengthening the UN. So the problem for China is that it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Uh, I mean, this idea of selling uh, its holdings of U.S. Treasuries. Mm. Uh, for once, uh, if China was to dump uh, its holding of Treasuries, which amounts to about $1.1 trillion, uh, it would um, basically uh, shoot, them, uh, shoot itself in the, in the foot because uh, obviously the value of Treasury would probably uh, decline. And also China has another problem because China needs to preserve uh, a decent amount of FX reserves and clearly treasuries are the most obvious uh, tools to, to keep FX reserves. Mm. So once again, uh, China might consider the idea of uh, dumping US treasuries, but it needs to thread a very careful line. Right.